I want to discuss about the class that is anonymous class. Let me save this program as anonymous demo one dot Java. Let me put this in a comment. Let me write here one class and this is the anonymous demo one. Definitely I am writing here main function that is public static void main. Now till today whatever we discuss that is for example I have one class that is abstract class and that is vehicle. Now in this vehicle class I have abstract method and that abstract method is integer number of will. So we want that each and every subclass of vehicle must implement this method that is the number of will. Now I don't want to create the class that is car. I don't want to create the class that is truck and I want to call this function directly. Is it possible? Yes, it is possible using the anonymous. For example, you can write here that is new vehicle. We all know that we cannot create the instance of an abstract class. Suppose if you are writing constructor over here that is new vehicle, then you will get an error. Suppose if you compile this Java anonymous demo one dot Java, you will get an error. And the error is what vehicle is an abstract class. We cannot create the instance. But what is the biggest benefit? We can call it anonymously like this. And here we can define the method that is integer number of will. And here we can return, for example, it is a four will. We can assign this to vehicle class reference. For example, vehicle V equal to new vehicle. Now, what is the biggest benefit? I can call this particular function and that is V dot number of will so these are the number of will for car compile your code and you can run this for example java anonymous demo one what is the biggest benefit students see here i am getting the number of will four without implementing the class car i can call it directly now what is the biggest benefit i can change the definition anytime whenever it is required for example if i am writing here that is v equal to new vehicle and now i am writing that the number of wheel is two then it will return me the two wheeler that is the bike you can save this you can compile again and you can run this now you will get that the two wheeler it means that i can achieve the runtime polymorphism also using the anonymous class i don't need to create the separate class i can directly call it anonymously and i can use the function of that particular class let me give you one more demo of this. So let me save this program as anonymous demo 2 dot Java. This is my anonymous demo 2. Now students please see carefully. If I am not overriding this function, then I will get an error. If you compile this, that is Java C anonymous demo 2 dot Java, then you will get an error that you have not override the function. It means overriding is compulsory over here. But suppose if it is a non-abstract method, for example, I have non-abstract method and that is void display. Now I'm writing here in this non-abstract method, the message is Java is very simple. You can call this function also. For example, I want to call here that is v dot display. So if I'm calling V dot display, then I can call this. Why? Because V is the reference of vehicle class. So you can save this. You can compile your code and you can run this. Whenever you compile this anonymous demo 2, you will get the result. That is 4, 2 and Java is very simple. Not only this. Suppose if you think that, sir, I want to override this display function also, then you can override over here. So let me override this function. That is display. So if I am writing here now that Java is very easy, right? And if you call the function display, then this will call this display function. So you can overwrite also. You can compile your code and you can run this. You will get the result that is Java is very easy. Here you can call v dot display also. If you are calling v dot display, then this instance does not override the display function so this v will call the display function of vehicle class so i will get java is very simple over here and i will get java is very easy over here so you can save this 
you can compile this code and you can run this whenever you run you will get java is very easy and java is very simple both so you can say that without creating the separate class i can override abstract as well as non-abstract method in my anonymous calling 